Yo, and what is cracking mother truckers? As promised, here is the tour of my brand new 2020 Chevy Colorado Bison. So we're gonna do a big walk around of every little thing and the reason why I got this thing. So obviously, I told you guys in the last one that I've been driving the big dually, the ghost as we call him, the Duramax. And uh, that thing is not the greatest daily driver. It's a huge sum it doesn't even fit in a parking spot. I also have been looking for the perfect hunting truck as far as taking up in the mountains and being able to fit on the trails. This guy right here is the man for the actual job. Now. The reason why it's obviously a smaller compact truck it can fit in a lot tighter areas than the duramax can and uh, just scraping the wrap and everything and also as well as the bourbon because i do have the suburban and that was kind of my daily driver still even though i got the dually to tow things but this guy right here is the ultimate truck as far as daily driving and doing a bunch of the hunting adventures we do so First thing first, it is the 2020 and is the brand new Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison package. It does have the Duramax in it, the baby Duramax I like to call it, it's a 2.8 liter. I guess that's the first thing we should look at right there. Now, I did, like I said, try to get the 2019 as far as the uh, year because I was going to be able to get some better remates, rebates and get a better deal because the 2020s are coming out, but I was not able to find one surrounding here because I wanted the white one. So I ended up just settling for the 2020. Look at this guy right here. Look at that cute little baby Duramax right there. It's so tiny. You get a good shot of that right there? It's so tiny and there's a lot more room up in here. As you can see, the ECM's way back there. But we got, like I said, the 2.8 Duramax and uh, very cool that this is one of the, I think this is actually, I don't think they have a, a diesel in any of the compact trucks from Toyota to Ford and stuff like that yet. I know they're talking about it with the Jeep Gladiator. The Jeep Gladiator is one of this guy's competitions. They do not have one yet, but they are possibly working on it with Jeep. I don't know if they're going to sign a deal with somebody or not, but this is the Baby Dirty Max. So very cool. It's like super, super quiet. I'll go ahead and start it up for you right now. You guys can get a listen to her. So that right there, that Duramax is one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to get this guy right here. Uh, very cool that it actually comes with a diesel. And um, you know, they have a V6 and a V8, which the V6 and V8 Colorados are all over the place. But um, like I said, this is the Bison. This being the Duramax and a Bison edition, which we'll go over what that is here in just a sec, is makes it one of the rarest trucks in the country and it is very, very hard to get. I think now it's they're in very high demand and people are gonna start hearing about them a lot more. So I think a lot more people are gonna want them. As far as the Bison package goes, the Bison package is basically a collaboration between Chevrolet and AEV. AEV is, an Amer is American Expedition Vehicles, as you can see the, the AEV logo here, and the logo is the Bison. And so that is a collaboration between Chevy and AEV, like I said, and they built this truck basically for the big, you know, overland vehicles are a big thing right now. And so this is kind of Chevy's answer to that guy. So the thing about the Bison that's different than a lot of the other things is the front grill here, no Chevy logo. It's just a Chevrolet across the front. The bumper 
is different here. You've got your fog lights. And then this is also, this will, you know, there's gonna be a lot of things I'm gonna do to this truck that I'm not gonna have time for. Actually, we leave today for Florida, but when I get back, we're gonna be doing a bunch of stuff for them. So uh, right here where this license plate stuff goes, sorry for the, the dead bugs and stuff everywhere, but this actually comes off and right here is a winch plate that you can get for this guy and you can put your winch right behind this guy. And then um, there is some other things that you can do as far as putting a bull bar up here, uh, a light bar and stuff goes in there. They don't like it when you, they say they don't like putting light bars in here because this actually does, it, uh, does work for airflow for the engine and everything like that. But you do get the fog lights with the bison package and it does have tow hooks. They're just a little bit hidden under here on each side. And then if you look under here, in-law might have to get on his back to make sure it's good. But this is one of my favorite parts about this truck. Everything is skid plated. Everything is completely skid plated underneath. So as you can see, the underneath right here and then the engine and transmission is all skid plated right there. Very, very cool. As you can see, we've got the heavy duty lower control arms right there and then the new Chevy Performance Multimatic shocks, which are very, very cool. Valve dampening or spool valve dampening, which is a new thing they've been working with. And as you can see, the, the spring on that guy is pretty big for a smaller truck like this. And let me tell you, dude, it rides very, very nice. Very, very nice stock being the Bison package. The suspension is very, very cool. But there are some things that I still do want to change on it. So the Bison package, like I said, everything is skid plated. We'll go around the side and get everything under there as well. Um, all the drive set, all the drive shafts and everything are completely uh, are, are completely covered and not the whole drive shaft, but the knuckles and everything where a lot of times when you're four-wheeling off-road and stuff like that, they get caught up on the yoke and where the U-joints are. So it's really cool that they put a lot of thought into the underneath of this guy. When you come around the side here, the Bison package, you get the black fender flares, front and rear. Uh, oh yeah, and then we got the, I believe these are 17s. What are these guys? Yeah, 17 inch AV wheels. So this is like their specific wheel that only come on the Bison package. I think I'm going to be switching this package out here. We'll get into that at the end of the video. One of the very cool things that I like is rock sliders all the way down. So you've got your rock slider here. And actually under the rock slider, it is uh, bedlined the same color, which is cool to protect the underneath there to protect the cab. But we've got our rock sliders all the way down to the back. You got your fender flares. And then what's even cool is they've got the rock sliders coming all around and built into the bumper, which is super freaking sweet. Bumpers come, shackle system here, which are built in, very strong, super cool. It does have a towing package, which is awesome. You can still tow up to, I think, 7,700 pounds, which is cool because I could still tow my boat and everything with this guy. And then I wouldn't have the, you know, trying to back that thing up in crazy corners and stuff. You don't have your the dually wheel sticking out and blocking you but of course this is the AV bumper here you've got some cutouts these actually fit their led cubes that you can put in there towing hookup and all that stuff then like i said the rock sliders come all the way around which is super cool to protect your body and everything like that everybody knows it's a bison now because it says it on the side it gives it a cool look than all the other colorados obviously it is bedlined and of course oh one of my favorite favorite things right here the easy lift tailgate where it comes down nice and easy on you it's a lot lighter than my other one you can just flip it right up in there it's got the backup camera and everything but as you can see it's bedlined very nice it is the short bed obviously they don't make a long bed in the in the colorado zr2 at all yet you get the little zr2 badge up there the bed is lit up you can light up the bed and everything like that it does not have the lights within the bed here but it does have the um, light that comes off the back as you see up there, there is an antenna at the top of that guy right there, which is very cool because I found out that this thing has a sat phone in it, which is super cool. And we'll get into that when we go in the interior. And then last but not least, let me just go over the tires. These are uh, Goodyear Wranglers. They are 31 inch tires, they're the 265s. So they're the 31 inch, which I was wondering because a lot of the other midsize and stuff, they do come with 33s. These do not, I guess I was looking up why they didn't just go with the 33s um instead of the 31s uh and i guess it was impact crash testing and stuff like that 
they had some issues where they would have to change a bunch of different stuff underneath and they didn't want to do that so they just went with the 31s so that is something that we are going to be talking about in the future with a bigger uh, tire package and possibly a lift leafs in the rear and the beautiful beautiful underneath everything's painted the spare tire is back there so that's cool as well it does come with a spare now i just want to go underneath and show you guys just a little bit of what it looks like so here we are underneath like i said everything's pretty much skid plated which is very very cool as you can see down here in the rear like i said that rear drive shaft has that nice skid plate that thing obviously whenever you are off-roading and stuff if you guys have done that before you know that the the rear yoke of the drive shaft always gets caught and stuff on rocks and gets beat up and you have to change your drive shaft a lot so it's cool that they put that in there the transfer case and everything is covered i thought the uh the transmission was covered but it it's up enough where um it evens out with the transfer case and the the engine so looks very cool down here everything's protected very very cool and of course everything that it is skid plated they have holes cut for if you need to uh to get in here to these certain um, accessories and stuff so super cool let's move into the interior all right now we are in the inside let's go ahead and pop in here it's a little hot outside so go ahead and turn her on and we can get a good uh look at that sexiness oh my goodness i still got all the plastic on and everything like that as far as uh saving the stuff so Let's hear this baby Duramax roar. It's so silent, man. It's beautiful, but it still has that, that diesel sound to it. Let's go ahead and turn the air up here just a little bit for us so we don't die. We'll go ahead and hop into all the specifics. So, super cool. Black leather everywhere. Very cool. Um, with the Bison package, as you can see here, they've got the AEV Bison logo into the stitching. You've got black and gray stitching all the way onto the seats. The seats are actually really, really comfortable. I do dig that. Um, it does have the floor shifter, which is very different. Um, obviously, it is a smaller truck, so you know you have that. I'm still getting used to not having that shifter right there. You got your low gears and your dial on the side. Uh, cup holders, you've got a cup holder in each door, which the only thing I'm kind of iffy about is they're super small, doesn't fit my mud jug, which I don't freaking like. But it's uh, it's not too crazy in here. This is the highest package of the Colorado, so it does have, you know, it is the highest of all the Colorados of stuff on the interior. You've got heated seats and stuff down here. The, the cool thing that I like, obviously it's a diesel, so you've got the exhaust brake, you've got your downhill assist, you've got your bed light, hazards of course and this is what i love the most right here front and rear lockers front and rear lockers up in this thing built in which is super freaking cool as far as getting stuck is not going to be a good option for this colorado which is super cool i'm not going to go over every little thing on here it does have onstar and stuff like that but this button right here is a satellite phone which is super cool so when i'm elk hunting up or, or whatever in the colorado mountains here if uh, I don't have cell phone service or anything like that, I can basically just prepay for satellite minutes and I can call somebody from my truck and it has a satellite phone, which is super cool. I love that. Um, one thing that I have not talked about either, it does have the, it's a manual, but um, that window does open in the rear. It does have Wi-Fi in here uh, for up to 50 yards, I believe. You can, you can walk out and the truck has Wi-Fi, which is super cool. Heated steering wheel cruise control obviously talk and text and everything like that your volume controls your fog light controls in here and stuff like that your towing and then another thing that's awesome is what a, let's say i'm in the south let's say i'm in kansas because in-law and i are going to kansas to whitetail hunt this year we're going to be looking at cameras and stuff like that we have an sd card reader down here now the gps card is in there right now but we can take that guy out put the our sd card from whatever in here and then pictures and stuff will show up on the screen which is super cool You've got your usb your auxiliary you got your cigarette lighter and stuff like that as well ample storage up in this guy you've got your uh wireless phone charger as well which i just wish they think make those things more powerful because whenever i go to put my my phone on here with the uh otter box or whatever it does not work so i have to take my phone out and then 
I'm very, very impressed with the sound system in this guy. If you look up here, it's got a Bose sound system and it is loud. I'm telling you, dude, it is loud. I can crank this thing up to where it's like almost bearing, like I, I almost can't even bear it with my ears and you could still go up like 20 more notches than that. The bass is actually really good up in these guys as well. So I'm very impressed with the sound system. All right, I forgot one more thing on the outside that I wanted to show you guys. Let's go check on that because it's actually probably my favorite part. All right, my favorite part of this guy, when I was checking this out and I was putting diesel in it yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, this Chevy finally freaking learned. Boy, they learned from Ford of all of them. Right here, guys, where you put in your diesel. Death fluid is finally right here and not in the worst spot under the gosh dang hood. So finally I could put death fluid in right here, which I'm gonna be super pissed if I find out the new 2020 Silverados and stuff, they're right there as well. Cause Ford had it right all along. I can't remember if, I don't think I owned a diesel Chevy before they started doing them under the hood. So I don't know if they used to do that as well, but the Duramax is under the hood in the worst spot. I gotta jump up there and put the death fluid in. So it's a big pain. So I'm super happy about that. Now they already do have a delete kit and everything for this new Colorado, which is super cool. And I've been seeing videos online. It's pretty insane how fast these things can get with the deleting this guy so that might be an option in the future obviously uh we just got the truck so you know not everything's going to happen as once i know you guys are going to tell me a lot of stuff i need to do to this thing in the comments below which i always appreciate so make sure you do drop me a comment if you guys want to comment if you guys do want to see something crazy on this guy but I guess I want to go around and just tell you a quick on what I kind of see as this vehicle. Now this is going to be my daily driver, but it's also going to be my mountain truck basically. It's going to be my main hunting truck for a lot of stuff that I do. So we're going to be doing some type of rack. Oh, and I also wanted to say this. If you guys watch my boy Lunkers TV, he also got the same exact truck. We got the same exact truck on the same day which is hilarious. So I got my ordered, basically when I was going through my issues with the other one, he got his and we didn't even talk to each other. The same exact truck, he got the same exact truck as me, except he got it in black and I got it in white, which is insane. We didn't even talk to each other before, which is hilarious. So he was looking for a new smaller truck for the same reason I was. So it's kind of funny that it happened that way. So um, I'm gonna be doing some type of cage or something in the back to hold a bunch of stuff, whether it be, you know, when we're snowboarding up in the mountains or hunting gear like water and fuel. Also putting some some type of deck system or something in there for more storage as far as our bows or guns or whatever it uh, may be. And then I was talking about the wheel and tire package. Now I would like to run a 33 inch tire on this guy just as far as you know being rough up in the mountains and stuff like that so i might do a tad bit of a lift on this guy i know icon makes one that a lot of people have been putting on these colorado zr2s so i possibly will be putting a you know couple inch lift or something to fit 33s under there um, so we won't have to cut or anything like that guy and then aev actually makes a really cool looking beadlock wheel that um, I would like to get and put in there as well. And then we do have the fog lights and everything in front, but you guys know, especially on the trails at night, especially if we're hunting or something like that, we do need a little extra light. So we will probably be adding some light bars and stuff on this guy. You know, I always put, uh, you know, Rigid Industries or Rough Country light bars on this stuff, but I'm thinking about going with the KC, the new KC light bars with the actual big old school KC stuff. Um, they make a new version of it, which they're very very expensive but they actually look really really cool so we might be doing that over the windshield here adding a light bar in there and then obviously the winch I want to add on front AEV also makes a snorkel that goes on this guy a lot of them they don't come with it but it is under warranty and everything since they do have to cut into the hood uh, so we'll be putting the snorkel on there as well from AEV, which actually makes it look pretty gosh dang cool too. You know, you never know what you're going to run into the mountains, especially here in Colorado when it snows a lot and it makes some big puddles in the summertime. So, And then, like I said, we're going to be doing the winch in the front. I would love, 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 depending on what I do as far as storage space back here and stuff like that, but I would love to put a winch mounted to the back wall right there. The reason why is when we are in the mountains hunting elk or we are hunting whitetail in Kansas or Missouri, uh, wherever we're at hunting, I think it would be awesome because this is going to be a main hunting truck to put a winch back there. So when we have an animal, all we got to do is kind of lift the legs up and the winch does the rest of the work for us. And then we got our harvest in the back ready to go get butchered up.
So you guys let me know if you guys think that's a pretty good idea. I've been wanting to do that for quite a while. So I think that's about it, man. That's a rock around on everything on this new truck. Obviously there is a lot of work to do and a lot of different things that we want to do on this guy. I guess the last thing would be to make this thing look cool. So we're going to have to do some new tail lights and some new headlights, which I think uh, Anzo and some Recon and some other companies like that are I've already made some aftermarket lights um, to black it out so we don't have this crazy red stuff. I'm gonna have to debadge this thing and we might have to go with a freaking wrap. I asked you guys in the last video what kind of wrap you guys would like to see. Now, I kind of like to call this thing, you know, baby ghost or Casper or something like that because it basically is the baby to my other Duramax. So possibly doing a wrap to match that guy. If you guys want to see a wrap kind of like that on this guy, but maybe like a little darker or maybe invert the colors a little bit, something like that keeping it with the black and white style I think would look pretty sick so I think we definitely got to camera this out somehow though you know all right I think that's gonna do it for today I wanted to give you guys an in-depth tour of this guy I hope I covered everything I'm pretty sure I did I'm actually like super in love with this truck now I'm getting used to it because I'm not used to driving such a small vehicle but uh, this thing is gonna be a lifesaver on the road and um, you know the thing actually gets pretty dang good gas mileage so I'm happy with it or excuse me, fuel mileage, because it's not a gasser. Come on now. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys dig the truck. There's plenty to do on it. And like I said, I always appreciate the comments of what you guys think we should do to this guy. Because, hey, I feel like this is our truck as well. Oh, and I didn't mention, uh, it did come tinted on the sides from the dealership. So the only thing I got to do now is tint that windshield. Because I tinted the windshield one time in one of my trucks. Now I just can't go back. It's way too bright. So we got to tint that guy as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you guys like the new truck, if you guys want one of these sons of dicks, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. And if you ain't yet, make sure to hit subscribe. We got plenty of truck videos coming and I got a huge, 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 huge announcement coming in the next video on one of my other vehicles over behind us. <sighs> I reckon we'll see you on the dip side. My name's Outlaw and I'm out y'all. And always remember no matter what you're doing, 25, 8, 360. Six. Keep it freaking hillbilly, you son of a dick. Holler.